Gerd, ich hätte mir eigentlich gewünscht, dass wir die letzten zehn Jahre schon so entspannt Gerd, I wished we'd been sitting here for the last ten years already, starting off your stallion show in this beautiful Oldenburg Hall. This is the place to relax right here at your place in Lemwerda. Maybe Corona has some good sides. You can take it more easy. It's such a stallion night. We're going to start in a few minutes. Congratulations to this wonderful collection. You and your family not only stand out for Oldenburg breeding lines, but also for an important tradition. 375 years back goes your history in breeding. Well, how important is tradition for you? Tradition is indeed important, but I always seek the modern and the progress. But um, yes, in fact, I like the tradition and the attitudes towards our farming bases. And you know, I am a family person, married for 40 years, two kids, five grandchildren, and it means the world to me, as does the company. And I love seeing that the following generations are following up the way. This is what we are going to be seeing tonight. A lot of your family and your tradition as a part of this 375-year-old history. But now let's have a look into the present and the future. This is your collection. So machen wir das. Lass uns gehen. Dankeschön. Hey guys, are we good to go? Horses ready? Thank you very much. Have a great show. Yeah, this is wieder ein Jahr vergangen. It has been another year. Welcome in 2022. Welcome once again to Lamberda on behalf of my family and the whole team. It's good to have Clip My House with us. We broadcast it via Clip My House to get the chance to present our show. Dear breeders, thank you very much for trusting in us over the last years. Last year hasn't been the easiest, but you remained faithful, so thank you very much. We have bought a few new stallions, and I hope it suits your taste. Today we're going to show stallions in dressage and show jumping, and we hope that we did a pleasant job in presenting the stallions outside on hard surface and in our trusted surrounding. And hopefully we helped you to take the right decision. If you'd ask why you haven't heard anything about our stallions and our kids over the last months, now you need to know that Hendrik got injured in August last year. Well, he broke his leg, but now after half a year he'll be back very soon. Well then, we're good to go. Let's start with the first stallion. This is Hendrik presenting Ogano. This is Ogano, one of my hopes for the future. He's very easy to ride and has everything for the big sports that I need. I really hope he'll be stepping into the footsteps of Casino Berlin. We're talking about a Belgian beau in his brown jacket at the best age of 10 to enter the international ring. He's a son of Ogano Sitte out of a dam by Diarado Cantos. Highly successful at the international youngster classes in Pielbergen, Balve and Ferden. 2022 will be his international breakthrough. This will be the overture by Hendrik Sozat and Ogano. 
Ogano's bloodline is of international class. His father, Ogano Sitte, produced a series of top international horses. His mother is bred by Diarado Cantus. His mother by Diarado is beautiful herself, tall, with a nice backline, really scopy. Grand Dam is by Tirano, so best genes inherited here. The stallion not only won his stallion test, outstanding 9.2, won a lot of young horses competitions, but most important he became number one premium stallion. Here in Oldenburg they see the achievements of the offspring, then they have another competition and he topped the class because of his own and his offspring's achievements. Hendrik is back in the saddle for three weeks now and I must say it seems he didn't lose it. Ah, sehr schön. Yeah, I like it. He was a bit far away at the Oxer, but still capable to jump the following vertical easily, steady. Nice job. Not only Ogano, but Hendrik himself, fit again. Really looking forward to the next international events to show that our stallions can keep up. How was the feeling for you after not having been able to ride him? Yes, good evening. It's indeed a great pleasure to continue like that after such a long break, to continue after you've having learned so many things over the years. And a nice rehearsal this is, and I'm looking forward to the first shows again. Gerd, you can be proud of these two. Of course, your son too, he is still going strong as well as Ogano. Of course, we have faith in our young stallions. That means we lead them to a few of our best mares. And this is a mare by Ogano, Landor, Ramiro, our Landor mares in this pedigree. We started riding her at the age of three. And she gave birth to Foal at the age of four. So, when we start with this Landor Ramiro, this is Landor Ramiro. This mare, a Ogano, Lando, Ramiro, all horses with a great attitude. This is the modern type I'm looking for. And this is a Ogano mare by Lady Haida, our best origin mare. All had a foal, now five years of age and on their way towards the first shows. All nicely colored, by the way. Then Ogano by Chanel, this is a Lando mare, very modern type. And that is the kind of mares we like to see in the modern sports. And that represents our system. First, the breeding program, then to sports, and then we decide if they stay longer, get sold or go into breeding. Ja, ein schönes Bild, lieber Gerd, hatten wir ja eigentlich schon letztes Jahr. Ich erinnere mich, wir haben nämlich diese Damen damals im Laufstall besucht. And this is us visiting the ladies last year in the open barn. Very impressing how they developed in terms of type. Der hier seine Töchter besucht, Ogano. 
One of the very influential Dutch breeders is with us. It is Egbert Schepp, who spotted Big Star at this time. Uh, what does he think about the Organo of Spring? Als Holländer Edelzüchter und als Big Star Entdecker damals, ne? wenn ich das richtig weiß. Wie findest du diese Sorte? Ja, das sind die Sorte, die wir suchen. Ne? Da suchen wir alle. Yeah, this is the kind we're looking for indeed. Long lines, tall, quality, foundation. This is what we're looking for indeed. Yeah, we're looking for these strong hooves and joints, horses that have elasticity. Out of a very good mother, has the attitudes towards jumping and is built upwards very nicely. And she is out of Lady Haida, who produced our best horses like Kador, Kadora, a real mover. And watch the back, a strong back line, all horses that can jump. This is the winner of the Oldenburg Mare Test. Has had a nice career already afterwards, priciest horse at the auction in Fechta and won the regional championship for four-year-olds in Oldenburg. And this is what we are looking for. The horses shouldn't be only to look at, but also should be successful in sports. Meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren und liebe Züchter, weiter geht es in dem Programm. Wenn wir an Springkultur und Qualität denken, dann... Thinking about show jumping culture and quality, the Holstein breeding is still strong. We can be so happy that a few things don't change in Lemwerda. On the one hand, that he is still based here. We're talking, of course, about this image of Casal. It's Casalido by Calido Calypso on the dam side. But on the other hand, it's the man in the saddle. A welcome to his rider, Matte Svenka. First things first, a huge thank you to Mattis. He's working with Thomas Heineking, has been in America for a while. And if you miss Thomas in the saddle, he's working as a trainer a lot at the moment, and he's in the background and training the horses and preparing them for the show here. You can see Casal in Casalido. He produced very interesting horses, very electric, but also sensitive. We sold a few pricey hunters by him over the last years, has also licensed sons already. And origins out of Peter Nageltonau's stem. His mother's full sister is also Bella Donna's mother. He is a real Casal son, and it was a great adventure to ride him alongside his father, Casal, the same time in Hamburg. Uh, Hendrik, what do you think? As you can see, he is a horse that is flexible, has a very high level of energy, a strong attitude, always focusing upon the fences. He's just not looking to make an effort out of these jumps. We have both been riding him. I myself have won nine youngster classes with him up to 9.0. It was just a pleasure to work with him. Very careful, very scopy horse. Ja, 
die Pferde springen auch wirklich gut bei dir, Mattis, das muss ich sagen, Henrik, oder? Da muss man ehrlich sagen, das macht er sehr, sehr, sehr gut. Wir haben ja auch Videos von dir noch in Hamburg und du hast bisher ja auch mit ihm angekommen auf 1,50 Niveau. Er hat jetzt das richtige Alter. Mattis has reached a level of 1,50 Meter with him at the moment and we hope we can get cracking with him as soon as possible again. And we hope the first and next show will be in four weeks. Schöne Vorstellung. Ich überlege, ob wir noch mal eine Runde machen, ja? Wir können ruhig vielleicht noch Yeah, we're doing one more round a bit higher. Das sind, glaube ich, Pferde, die du auch in Amerika viel geritten hast, ne? Mattes? Ja, und der sieht, wie gesagt, seinem Vater so ähnlich. Und äh, das war auch für uns was Besonderes, als wir in Hamburg waren und... Äh, it really was something special, as Hendrik rode him in the youngster classes in Hamburg the same year as his father Kazal had his farewell with Rolf Joran Bengtsson. He won the global tour and these are special moments one never forgets. Und auch seine Nachkommen und so, wenn wir ein bisschen über den Charakter mal nachdenken bei den Pferden. Thinking about his character, his offspring are not of the boring kind. They are all energetic, a bit sensitive, but always fighting for the rider. And the offspring we have are quite similar, with a bit of an open forehand, but with a nice gallop. Just modern types. Ah, Mattes, das macht Spaß. Aus dem Stamm kommt bloß eine Stute. Out of this line, there is a mare who has competed in Nations Cups for four different nations, and that is the famous Roofs. Müsst ihr einfach mal applaudieren. Captain, du bist noch ein Deckstellen, Leiter. Wie bist du mit deinem Produkt zufrieden, den du jeden Tag absahmst? Ja, sehr gut, ne? Springt vom Allerfeinsten und spricht auch für Hendricks Ausbildung, dass er nächste Saison aufsteigen kann und weiter reiten kann. Besser kann es nicht sein. Ein Einstand nach Maß. What an opening this was. Thank you, Casalido and Mattes Schwenka. Mattes Schwenka. Dankeschön. Weiter geht es in diesem Qualitätsprogramm mit einem jungen... A young bow from Zangesheide is following next. Chestnut color, six years of age, licensed in 2018 and inheriting a superb pedigree. ...der echten Superlative. Hier kommt er herein, eskortiert von Dennis Schlüsselburg, der Sohn des Weltmeisters... Dennis Schlüsselburg is presenting him. The son of the individual world champion Vigo Dalsui, out of Carabel by Contendro and Landadel. This is Vigo Tendro. And first a word to Dennis Schlüsselburg. He's always been supporting us here at the presentation. And he's not only a successful rider in big classes, he's also a rider for the youngsters. We are very lucky that we have such good riders for our young stallions. Vigo Tendro is bred by Niels de Bruyne. Maybe some assets for the eventing sport at some point. Very dynamic. Very good paces. And we are really trying to offer the best for breeding. If we see at some point that inheritance is not so good, we're self-aware enough to sell such a horse only for sport, for example. This is modern show jumping. The horses need to focus the fences in a good speed. 
He's sometimes a bit erect, but we see his big potential and his scope. The old Tin Rock Curl back in the pedigree. Also, such a scopy jumper produced hard horses. This is his father, Vigo da Sui, with Philippe Lejeune. And you can see some similarity comparing these two. The Belgian breeding is still going strong, so we're very happy to offer our breeders this international pedigree. Demfather Contendro, one of the leading stallions in the world, for example, in eventing, in show jumping and dressage, successful in all disciplines. Then comes Landadel, father of Landor, who is our poster boy. So, Dennis, probieren wir nochmal eine Runde, oder? Schön locker, so machst du es gut. He is always turned forward, always attentive. That is what we like. Pure energy bursting out of this one. Always willing to work, as everybody does here in Lemberda. So this stallion just fits right in. It's Vigo Tendro. Das hat uns sehr gefallen. Hier dieser tolle Sohn des Weltmeisters äh, Vigo da Sui der Philipp Lejeune, Weltmeister in Kentucky, verabschiedet sich mit dem wertvollen Blut des Contendro auf der mütterlichen Seite. Dankeschön. These unforgettable pictures of the International Hamburg Derby event are introducing an amazing lineup of one of our top stallions, Kador, the son of Katoki Landor, and we're going to see him with his family. And that is naturally a special highlight for a Züchter Tönne. It is of course a special highlight for every breeder. This is our Lady Heide the Second, just coming out of the open barn. She is mother to Kador, Kadora, Lady Kadora, and so on. Now being used for embryo transfer, 21 years of age and super fit. Yeah, for a 21-year-old mare, it's amazing. That is not taken for granted. But it is the Cador bloodline, and I have two successful offspring myself. 
One was jumping in Aachen with Maurice Tebel. One has just arrived at Mikkel Jungs and was just competing in Pielbergen. I was very lucky with Kador, already using him as a young stallion. And especially they are naturally healthy. Und zwar ist das ja immer in der Zucht so, wenn wir Zwillingsträchtigkeiten haben, ist das ja eher ein Problem. Aber hier haben wir Embryo-Transfer gemacht. Komm ruhig mit Tönne. Via Embryo-Transfer, die these two siblings of Cador and Cadora saw the light of day, Zwillinge, now three Embryo, years old, directly from the open barn. Sind, die kommen auch aus dem Laufstall. Die haben wir jetzt mal hergeholt. Und das ist unsere große Freude daran. Ganz auf der linken Seite ist unsere... On the left we see our daughter Janne, who has organized all this. And there is her very special Kadora with her. With her she has become German amateur champion in Münster, a very special for you. What can you tell us about her? She is a really great mare with unbelievable amount of attitude, with a heart of a lion, very careful, sometimes a bit spooky, but that is her strong point in the ring because always she is focused and makes everything possible. All out of one mother, Lady Cadora is the only one who is missing. Who was ridden by Gertz, Hendrik, and Janne competing under Holger Wulschner in Oliva last year. And she's now sold to Canada to a young rider. And when we then nach darüber gehen, Hendrik, da brauche ich dich einmal. Das ist Kador. Einer unserer top This is now Kador, one of our best stallions. Unfortunately, he got injured at the age of 12, but he is still an important stallion for us. Using him, we know we're going to have scope over and over, a lot of gallop and a positive attitude. Remembering the ride in Hamburg, it was just a pleasure because in a huge ring like Hamburg, a tall horse with a large gallop is an advantage and it was great fun because he kept going and going and fighting till Sunday night. Yes, sadly, we had to retire him from competing, but I think we're going to have as much fun with his offspring as we had with him. He improves size and gallop if you have a slightly smaller mare. His offspring all have that scope and that gallop. Yes, one of my mares was not too big, so I used him. And in the end, it was a good decision. And I think if you look it up, he has produced a lot of horses competing over 1 meter 50, following by many, many more. The problem is that horses like him don't spread so much. If you have 500 mares, it would be easier. But looking at this picture, with the mares and the stallion and expecting some more embryos, for example by Casino Berlin and Ogano, and then the two siblings in the middle. Well, I'm so excited. Maybe we'll keep them for breeding. Maybe we'll see them in the ring. And I hope you like the picture as much as I did. I find it also important to say that jumpers nowadays can also move. That's not always the case in these times. He just produces modern horses. Okay, vielen Dank, habt ihr gut gemacht.
Without a doubt, one of the most amazing stallions at the last Oldenburg stallion event was an offspring of Comme Prévu that we're going to see later on that was Comanchero. But before his son enters the ring, let's talk about the father, Comme Prévu. Mate Schwenke is presenting this Westphalian stallion born in 2013. Son of World Cup champion, global champions to a lag winner, multi Grand Prix winner with Marcus Ening Com Il Fo. His dam is Quintessa by Quintarial Balou de Rue. Especially last year's performances stand out, including his first victories in big classes with your rider Janis Schulte-Volta. Be prepared for this performance tonight, comme prévu. So nice of you mentioning our rider Janis because he's done a great job. Father Comil Four, you just need this kind of blood. Really beautiful memories are his performances in Lanarken. We took him there at the age of five with two victories and in the end finishing as best German stallion. He has become main premium stallion, produced beautiful folds and I also watched the stallion shows in Sangesheide and Christian and Judy Ann talked a lot about his three-quarter brother that is Comil Faux Plus, talking about his mesmerizing potential. Well, he has had a time at the age of six and seven when he fell a bit behind, but now is growing stronger than ever. Well, he did such a great job. His placings as a five-year-old were amazing, qualified for the Bundeschampionat, and he drew this spotlight on himself at the World Championships. Yeah, when he was six and seven, I was riding events, he couldn't participate. That's why he developed late, but I think Janis made it up last year really well. And that's the point we're going to continue, hopefully, this year. Well, he has the real stallion type. Let's have a look at his side profile. And here is a performance of Father Com Il Faux with Marcus Enink. He is absolutely top shelf. The way he's moving, although he's not the biggest one, but seeing Marcus Enink with him always was a blowing combination. On the dam side, a Kinterial mother that performed well in both dressage and show jumping. Then Balou de Rue and his three-quarter brother Camille Faux Plus. Finally, we hope we have an interesting offer for our breeders. He has produced very good folds, many of them in the black jacket, good movers, and all the offspring we have of him show size and scope. So, Janis, thank you very much. Let's stay excited for this year's season, expecting only the best by Comme Prévu. We already mentioned him, this impressing young stallion, engrossing the Oldenburg stallion days made by Comme Prévu. Lady Haider II makes it possible again. We're talking about Comanchero, this shining tall bow, now four years of age. And I really must say, watching him outside this morning, the way he showed his type is just amazing. So modern, tall, long legs, 
just a model, this Comprevu Lando S contender. That is Comanchero. Comanchero. A horse with a very nice, easy gallop. Huge stride. A bit unsteady at some point. Yeah, this is his way of jumping, sometimes a bit straight. But we don't see it as a bad sign. So, Scopy horses make it easy. We have a lot of good horses out of this mother. He reminds me of Cador, who was also tall in younger years. Dennis? Yeah, one stride less. A good test for a young horse, but you are giving him a lot of trust. He's galloping nicely. It was a good round. I think he showed everything a four years old need to have at that age. They should leave the ring with a good feeling and not too much pressure. We did some shooting outside this morning to get some impression about their look and type, how they stand on hard surface, see the foundation in daylight. And that is what we place importance on, especially big horses need good hooves, good foundation. Well, sometimes I wished he would jump a bit curvier, but his scope is compensating it by far. Ja, lieber Dennis, wir möchten uns auf das Allerherzlichste bei dir bedanken. Einmal mehr... Once again, we see your fine instinct for these young horses. This one, as big as he is, all the more respectable how versatile and strong he already is. We'd like to take you on a journey now, a journey through the international bloodlines of Europe. After having talked about Kazal, Katoki, Korne de Belensky, so there's no getting around the blood of four pleasure. The two-time Team Olympic gold medalist, three-time Team European champion. This one will be a modern grown offer of four pleasures family in this collection. We're talking about this six-year-old chestnut for my pleasure. Again, world champion Blots on the dam side, Vigo Dasui, followed by Gidam. I had the great pleasure of judging this stallion in the Netherlands in the free jumping championship that he has won. In my opinion, the reason why we have two four pleasures is that you need to buy stallions at a young age if they affect you in the first place. And then I follow my instincts, maybe give them a break for some time. This one is only available via Frozen Seaman this year. He's only performing in sports this year with Mattis. He has produced his first folds. His mother is really interesting. Super for a six-year-old. Schön, a pleasure look. 
for a six-year-old in the nice for pleasure look. He won the 100-day test in Poland. Air jumping with a bit of an open forehand, but with a lot of scope. And Matt has told me that he is giving him a promising feeling in the daily work. I like chestnuts with this kind of light crest and tail. And they say their mother should have proven their potential themselves. And that is definitely the case, speaking of him. His looks, his way of jumping, calling his great relatives to mind like Fit for Fun, Funky Fred, Firth of Lawn, you all know a pleaser. And I believe this will be a precious asset in the ring. We're going to talk about Heracles, our next stallion in the show, again with Egbert Shep. Especially because he displayed two mesmerizing stallions in Munich at the licensing of the German sport horse in Munich a few days back. And let's have a look on one of them. And it's a bit like the family Zosat. Gerd is a happy father with his son. And we're going to have a look for another father stallion. We're talking about Heracles. This is the one we're talking about. The son of Heracles out of a dam by Chirocco Blue, bred by Egbert Schapp. I'm so proud having seen two of my stallions in Munich. They were not only licensed but also rewarded premium. Looking at their father, we need to talk about this dominant influence in inheritance. They look not only like Katoki, but also like their father. Yes, indeed. I've seen him in the Netherlands at the pre-licensing. Then I got involved and he got licensed in Holland. He really developed very well in sport, was qualified for the World Championships in Sangerseide. That was really good, but he has sired not too many faults. In the first year he had 10 to 12 folds. In the second year we took him home and rode him and he got our four mares and directly had one licensed son in Poland. And now this year 13 folds with again so much quality. And we have three beautiful stallions, two qualified in Holland, one on the way to premium award, and the one we talked about, the one in Munich. 
Well, maybe I can add one thing. If we had 13 folds, only half of them would be colds, maybe one get injured. And if you really have five or six colds in one year, and three of them get qualified for licensing, one premium stallion, the one I saw last year at your place, will be an absolute stunner. Then, congratulations that we own such a stallion like him. He was qualified for the World Championships of the six-year-old. High riding quality, that's what we fancy. You can really hear him bouncing up at every fence. Strong hindquarters. Yeah, I like it if they have the ears turned forward, think for themselves. He is really supporting his rider and has always an equal way of jumping. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is not an everyday combination. Dennis has been riding him three times before today. And now you can recognize that he is really clever on the way to the fence, watching out. Then let's hope the breeders appreciate him a bit more than in the past. A little giveaway for Egbert Shep. Dutch breeder with two premium stallions in Munich. And such a success with two premium stallions, that is something really special. Congratulations from all of us. Heracles, by the way, is called the God of Strength. This stallion definitely deserves this very name, this jumping God, Heracles. This is actually the place where I really, really like to be. This is our rearing stable for the young horses. How we can see our breeding planning has worked out in the end. Have we made the right breeding decisions? But when I see all these products here, I feel really good. A lot of homebred horses. And so our breeding that we like to do is in outdoor stabling. We've been doing this for many, many years. Very different to the past. In the past, we had a few horses 40, 50 years ago. We just had smaller stalls. They barely got out in the winter. We've learned, of course, and we try to do it animal friendly. We always have them outside on solid ground, which is good for the feet, for the hooves, for the lungs. The horses are very healthy, are also toughened up. And so that we don't produce wild horses, but friendly horses that know human contact, we make it so that contact with humans is sought a few days after birth. A halter is put on them. They're always led over to the examinations, so that we start with the education of the horses very early. That we have half the work later. And that they behave really well and the handling is easy. The horses are fed with good basic feed. We have a grassland farm here. We attach a lot of importance to good grassland and good farming. If you look at the feed, it's top quality for the two year old horses. And for our pregnant mares, we don't need anything other than good hay and a little bit of mineral feed via the licks that have uh, we here. The foals get two kilo of concentrates a day in addition, so that we have a healthy rearing here. 
And then we build them up carefully. As for our two-year-old stallions, they also all go out to pasture in the summer. We are now also going to do the licensing a little bit later. Until now, we have the stallions on the pastures until mid of late July. If we now do the licensing in Oldenburg in January, then we will certainly be able to stay in the pastures until September in large groups, and then they will be selected. These are a few real winners. There are some of the 25 where we go the way that we now briefly work them and test the basic quality. Then we let them cover once, the good mass get a foal. The next year, when the foal is weaned, as a four-year-old, they are ridden. And then we will see in which direction it goes. Of course, we hope, especially concerning the jumpers, our goal is to breed international horses with the highest quality. And so we try to get a little better every year. I can only say for myself that today our young horses are a whole lot better, much, much more suitable for modern sport than 20 years ago. Here we have some of the mares in foal. We have a little over 50 mares in foal this year. I've also already sold a part of them. And these are the ones that fall a little bit earlier, now already in April, May. And then they come 14 days before the falling date in individual boxes and are then monitored there. And that's how long they are out here. These are the mares that are all quite good in feed, good basic feed. Horse licks, lick bowls as mineral supply, and so they are kept healthy here. And the falling also works quite easily. Every year we have a large number of offspring of good mares, so we have been able to sell good mares in fall recently, because there are more and more interested people who are looking for mares and foals from good dams to improve their own breeding, both in show jumping and dressage. Meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren und liebe Züchter, auf diesen Moment muss ich ganz ehrlich sagen, habe ich mich ganz besonders Ladies and gentlemen, dear breeders, if I'm honest, this is the moment I've really been waiting for. Because after we've seen them on the first sight outside on the hard surface, he embodied so much of his prominent father by nature. His father dominated the youngster classes with Hans-Peter Minderhout, won World Cup competitions with Anki van Grunswin, until he took part at European and World Championships with Spanish rider Morgan Barbathon Mestre. This is one of our future stars from Holland. We bought him only a few days back. He's still very youngish, born in August, has not been ridden so far. He is a son of the famous Dolly, probably the most famous mare all over Holland. She has been double champion with an impeccable movement out of a stem with dressage and show jumping horses. And we were really interested in the genetics of the combination between painted black, negro and dolly. And I'm very happy that we have a real expert of the Dutch breeding. So a very interesting interview with Hermann van Triest. Nice that you've come to Lemberda. We've got to know each other through finishing touch. That was our first collaboration. And I've asked you if you know a good stallion, something interesting, then please let me know. And I've been to Holland and we wanted to look at a show jumping stallion there. And we've discovered something else, do you remember? Yeah, I know very well. That was very nice. And the jumper we were looking at was not quite what we had in mind. 
And then we saw a very young black stallion by Painted Black, Negro. He was born in August and I remember them still very young. They showed him to us in the arena and he moved sensationally. And you told me so much good about the dam line, especially about the Grand Dam of the stallion, Dolly. And that's the man everybody knows in Holland. Yes, Dolly is something very special until now. He's the only mayor that has become Dutch champion twice. That is tremendous. And she is so popular. I don't know any mayor, maybe Weigold, who then made it so big in the sport. But that such a mayor that has become a movement winner is so well known, that is rare. Yeah, Dolly is a legend for the dressage lovers in Holland. And I'm personally a big friend of the Dutch dressage horse, but with many of them it's like that with Jazz and Crack. They are far ahead at the world ranking list, but all very sharp. And we have to look what fits to our mares. And I can imagine we also have several offspring from four dance, also a little bit more framey mares. So I could imagine such a blood. He has great mechanics with three good basic gates, and if we assume that the mothers give a lot with a necromare and the dolly in the background with still jumping blood in the back, I like that anyway, then we have a great product. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to open the dressage bit with one of our pony stallions. Six years of age the son of F.S. Numero Uno, out of the state's premier mare, Sophia by Champuskei Dressman. Here we spot him in his remarkable outline, presented by Danica Dun. This is Neverland W.E. Just yet a successful pony with an outstanding career. Maybe you all might remember in 2018, this shining young man took the victory away at the Visa Ems Licensing. And one year later, he was multiple winner in young dressage pony competitions, with results higher than nine, for example, at the regional championships in Rastede. At the Bundeschampionat in Warendorf, he took the bronze medal. In 2020, he became champion of Oldenburg once again and qualified for the final of the Bundeschampionat. Last year then, he took the bronze medal in the five years old classes with Sophie Dune at the Bundeschampionat. In this regard, Family Dune, they draw on nearly unlimited resources because both mother and daughter are omnipresent in the international pony sport. Neverland, auch schon vererbungstechnisch eine Klasse für sich, dieser Augenstecher. One of Neverland's fillies took the victory away with a score of 9 at the Swedish Championships. And thinking about pricey foals, Neverland's offspring was the most expensive foal at one of the most important pony auctions all over Germany. And they were successful at the German Pony Championships. Elevated and exalted, galloping upwards, is his pedigree an uphill climber itself. His father, F.S. Numeriuno, became winning stallion and Bundes champion. On the mother's side, she was runner-up at her elite mare test visa Ems. Then we see Champus K standing out for the double talent, both show jumping and dressage.
So all in all, in origin that promises all the best. Yes, I'm really looking forward to the time when my grandchildren are at that age of starting riding ponies. And I think this one not only has the special riding qualities, but also has the well-adjusted interior we need at home and in the ring. Na, das ist mal eine Rahmenerweiterung. Das sieht aus, das kommt herüber. Danica Dun lässt ihn strahlen. Ja, sicherlich einer der wertvollsten. For sure, one of the most exciting dressage origins bred over this famous grandmother Sophie, this winning mare that has so many licensed stallions and state premium mares and especially the bloodline in third generation. Dressman is a legend standing in the descending mother line. Four times Bundes champion, two times individual, seven times team European champion and that is the unbelievable contribute to the bloodline of Neverland WE. Sind die schier unglaublichen Leistungsattribute aus diesem Stamm. Das auch finde ich auch sehr schön, wenn das Pferd jetzt so gelassen Schritt geht. I like it very much when the horses walking easily shows a nice interior. Also wir schon ganz froh, dass wir jetzt wirklich auch zwei so außergewöhnliche Ponys sehen. And we are very happy that we can offer two brilliant ponies. And maybe only the best is good enough in these days. And he's showing the attitude towards collection already. You can fall in love with him. Nice glittery exhibit today. Sparkly appearance today. And I'm really excited if your grandchildren at some point will enter the dressage arena in the pony saddle. This could be your entrance in the dressage sport. Oh, look at that. I was working in the back. Unbelievable qualities of collection and then the extent in the trot. This is an eye catcher. So nice. Wherever he is appearing, he's drawing the spotlight on himself. A sensational performance and we'd like to say a huge thank you, a great friendship for many many years between the family Sozart and the family Dune. The son of Efes Nummer Uno with the maximum amount of qualities. Neverland WE, thank you. I took over the reins of Moreno in September 2021. 
He is a highly competitive and extraordinary sportsman. He is agile beyond all measures, makes me happy every day I have the chance to work with him. Super attitude, movements over the top, everything we are looking for. This is the Oldenburg Stallion, born in 2017, now turned five years of age. We're talking about Moreno OLD, a son of Maricona out of the Simone by Sanamur diamond hit. Athletic, smart, representing the noblesse of his ancestors. Two years ago, he took the silver medal at the Oldenburg Championships, highly placed at the Bundeschampionat with superb results in his outstanding paces. By then, he finished in first place of the three-year-olds Oldenburg Stallions at the Bundeschampionat. And what is a real treat for us is that he was selected to be awarded main premium at the Oldenburg Association in third place. And comparing him to all the strong stallions like Vivaldas at the moment, that means he hands down strong characteristics. For example, his dark jacket. He has produced so many nice types, well featured. Madita already took part at a few events, won some youngster classes up to 8.8. And I really want to thank the breeders, family Strom from Nordhorn. And Moreno got the OLD in his name. He was successful at the Bundeschampionat and the regional championships. Yeah, in my opinion, you really see that after developing one year, the paces have improved as well, did the rhythm, although he worked nicely already last year. All the shows with him let us smile because he is such a good sport. It was a pleasure to work with every day. And this is what we want to see, high quality, high rideability, handing down by Morricone. And I'm really happy for family Spree that Morricone did such a great job. It's the natural ability to carry his own weight. Although he is at such a young age, he is on the best way to stand out in the youngster classes this year. Let me talk about the mother line once more, because we see interesting offspring like Salieri with Victoria Max Teurer, Dr. Doolittle, and of course the PSI top stallion Saint Emilion with Dorothy Schneider. They are all part of this family and guarantee the high quality Moreno OLD stands for. Yeah, looking for new stallions, we really watched out for good walk because uh, thinking about Stedinger was a bit weak thinking about his walk. But Moreno's walk turned out to be very, very good with a result of 9.0 at the Bundeschampionat. And it looks like he just turned better and better. 
Moreno OLD verabschiedet sich hier in Bestmanier. Vielen Dank an die Dame im Sattel, Madita Renz. Aus der Sammlung der Hauptprämiensieger, lieber Gerd, muss man Gerd, it seems sagen, you've collecting these Gerd kind of wonderful main premium stallions, because this one is also one of that kind. This is the Hanoverian chestnut born in 2016. He's going to spread his magic right now. He's called Vivaldos, presented by Veronika Steinhoff. He is a son of Vivaldi, out of the state's premier mare, Bundes champion and national breeding champion Doris Day by Desperados and Brentano II. He is not only the outstanding winner of the Hanoverian licensing, but first and forward, he became number one premium winner, awarded by the Oldenburg Association, because of his own achievements and his overwhelming first crop of faults. His offspring was awarded with the highest score of all, with an average score of 8.75, and that was top of the class. And that's why he was awarded main premium winner. Vivaldos was highly frequented, so a very special gratitude goes out to all breeders who trusted in him. His offspring are really special. He produced a lot of pricey foals. The recommendation of the foals was rewarded with top scores and average 8.75. But it all traces back to his genes. We didn't present him at too many shows in summer, but he was busy in his stallion job, but Veronica was able to qualify him for the Bundeschampionat. Especially his appearance right here in Lemberda really pushed the prices. All the leading dressage stables have been visiting and looking for that kind. I actually know family Linsenhof Rath took the opportunity. For sure, this is an important point that Vivaldos' offspring are high on demand. Definitely, it was a sensation for us, the spread of quality. If a stallion is having one singular foal, there's nothing special to it, but if you have different mares of different quality, and he's been improving nearly everything every time, that makes a true top stallion. Darauf werden natürlich dann auch die Dressurfachleute einmal wach. I'm sure that such a stallion with such genes and his outstanding folds will produce the kind of easy and rideable horses you're looking for. Yes, that rideability he has, he'll definitely will hand down to his offspring. This horse is a tough one, with a wonderful rhythm, we see him sweepingly walking. And we're really fond of him. I've bought one from Heinrich several times, and Heinrich always has impressive prizes, but of course he has also good horses. And so I thought, you are in the area and you go to Heinrich and have a look. Ramsbox are always very hospitable, also Dagmar, your wife, when I come there. And I was there around noon, and there's always a little something to eat, you're always very welcome there. And we talked about stallions, and Heinrich said, if you want to have something very special, special from a superb dam line. The mother herself is an absolute sensation. He was so enthusiastic about Doris Day. Then you have to take one of those. And then I first thought, Heinrich, wait and see. And then we thought, well, let's have a look at him. And we drove to the Hahnen Moor, and we were very lucky that we were there during the lunch break. 
dass wir in der Mittagspause da waren, weil ich war Otherwise, sonst I've been there before, so everything is perfectly prepared. Five of his grooms are standing in front of the stallion stables. They were planting, they were shining, bandaged, otherwise you don't see them at all. And that was during the lunch break, and there was only one of your farm workers whom you'd asked to present the stallion for us. And he came out like this, just with the bridle, quite naturally, as he was, and he was moving back and forth on the road. And I just came from Amalo in Holland because we had been to the World Championships with Davenport. And I had these movements in my head, like the good dressage horses move nowadays. And I saw him and I fell in love right away. And I thought, you won't leave after you have the stallion. And we drove back to our house and I chatted a bit on the way. First you told me the story about the great mare Doris Day, your ride and your friend Hermann Burger. What have they all won feral championships? I think the horse has competed 11 times, from mare shows to competitions to the Bundeschampionats and always has won. She never even came in second. Won state championship, national championship, mare shows, won all kinds of things. And you should always recognize the spirit of the times, which blood is in demand at the moment. There it was, the Vivaldi blood was just coming up and then with the mother, with Desperado, us, the House of Spreer. We are good friends with them. She was Olympic champion in the team and the German champion with them. With such a great horse, such a combination, and then Brentano in the dam line, exactly what could fit very well for a station. Grandpa, I'm only seven years old, but the farm is already 375 years old. What was it like in the old days? I can show you by looking at the pictures. Three of my darlings are here, two are still in Oldenburg. This is what it used to look like. Look, this is my father, this is me, this is my sister, this is my grandma, this is my first pony. It's called Maxi. And that's the way we used to go to the foal show. This is me in short, so our old farm and the horses were tied together like this. And this is the really old farm, it burned down in 1909. And before that it was a really old farm with thatched roofs, not yet paved, the ditches there. We really lived in the wilderness. Then my grandfather built the farm there in 1909, which you can see where we still live. And this is such a beautiful picture, we have always had horses on our farms. And these horses were our workhorses. That's a seed drill running behind them. These are our employees, and this was our milkmaid, our farmhand, so we used to have several employees, and that's how the horses looked like. This is my Uncle Heinz, my first riding instructor, my father, and this is me. And look the horses, how they look like. Yeah, that's me, but look at the horses with the thick neck and the round back. They were still bred to pull in the old days. They had to have strength in front of the wagon and then the front plow. And today we have modern riding horses. And some horses, they were cold bloods. They also pulled tree trunks. Yeah, they pulled too, but today all has changed. We used to keep our horses in stalls. They were all tied up whole in the winter. We had only a few horses then and they only came out to work. And what was really interesting was how we used to get our faults. When I was a little kid, the same age as you, we didn't have a chip that we sewed into the mare. We tied a belt around the mare's belly, then we took a clothesline, stretched it upwards, and under the blanket there was a deflector pulley. And then we pulled this clothesline across the house and attached it to a chair with a bucket in the hallway in front of Grandma and Grandpa's bedroom. And we'll show you that in a moment. And what did the bucket do to the chair? 
Hmm, we're going to show you that. And when the mare lay down, what happened? It falls down. Then there was a pull on the line, and boom, and then it was lying there. Let's show that. And I want to explain this to you again. We had a bucket there that was standing on a chair. The long string was attached to the backrest. And when the mare lay down in the box, there was a pull on the top of the pulley. She lays down. And then made a noise. And then... Here is the bedroom. Grandpa jumped out of the bed and quickly came and ran to the mare. And that was our first fall alarm. Good, right? <laughs> was much better than the chip, right? In any case, that was the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen and dear breeders, a very special moment for all of us, in particular, but of course for the family Sosat. At the age of 28 years, he has sadly passed away. An exceptional Holstein stallion from the famous line 776 between the seas. You all adored him for years, especially with his multitude of international offspring in the arenas of this world. Way too early he passed away, this important son of Landos Ahon Zed's Calypso I, who has meant above all the daughter of the house Janne so very, very much. He was so special to us. We learned to ride on him. We rode with him the first little competitions, both Hendrik and me, because when Dad went on the weekends on tournament trips, then we could ride him fold and style jumping, and then later the big classes. We are also really good and successful with him. I've been participating at the Young Riders Championships honoring Hans Günther Winkler, and Hendrik won one time. We won several competitions and had above all completely a beautiful time. I was galloping with him every weekend in the pastures. I was galloping with him in the beach of Norderney. That was very special. I think his offspring have always been characterized by a lot of attitude and a special fighter's heart. For example, Lordan was directly born here with Nayel Nassar. He has really won several $1 million jumping competitions and World Cups. Although he was so small, he had such an attitude, such a fighter's heart, that he could win everything. Hendrik's Lady Lordana, who is endowed with unlimited scope, for example, was always placed in the Derby, started with Hendrik even in the Grand Prix in Aachen, and showed superb rounds there. Or Lex Luger, one of the Landadel offspring, who could win the Hamburg Derby with Carsten Otto Nagel. And so there were quite a lot of different offspring all over the world that are successful with all age groups. So with juniors, children, young riders, but also really in the big sport, in the World Cup show jumping, and also in dressage, eventing, also hunter and equitation, really in every discipline. The distinctive thing was just the character. It was unbelievable with what kind of sovereignty he appeared. He was always super sweet with us kids. He always looked out for us. In the stallion barn, he was always the boss. He didn't want other stallions to go past his stall. Then he became a bit dominant, but otherwise he always was super honest. And that is also what he passes on to his offspring. They all have this typical big eye and a lot of other characteristics he passed on. This stallion has given so much to our family, breeding-wise, sport-wise, but also especially privately. And he will certainly leave a big gap. But we remember him very well. And we just want to say thank you again. Thank you, Lord Danos, for this beautiful time.
Ja, und das sind zwei ganz besondere. These two are very special for me. Lady Lordana and Hendrik. Lady Lordana is one of our best mares that we have who have performed internationally in the sport, has jumped the Hamburg Derby successfully several times, jumped in Leipzig and Aachen, has been part of the Aachen Grand Prix. And we're going to show you in a few seconds. And who is this next rider who doesn't have this experience, who hasn't been able to make friends with the Sirs so far? At his debut here, namely Hendrik Sosat from Lemwerda, Lower Saxony, with a self bred Lady Lordana, Oldenburg, daughter of Lordanos. Third, however, was he with Casino Berlin at the German Championships. Also a fantastic success for him already. Once in the field of the absolute best in the world. To have qualified here for this small field of 40 in this Grand Prix of Aachen is great. Lady Lordana, by the way, a few weeks ago he was his derby horse, with which he became 11th in Hamburg. This course has a lot in common with Hamburg in terms of size. The horse has space and order to concentrate on the jumps. But now comes the 110 meter hurdles on the long, good 100 meter line. There is a sensation in the air for Zosat, but. Ah, unfortunately, the pole on the ground now. Berbom knows how that feels. The man who was not taking part today, Lutke Berbom, won the Grand Prix three times, has gone through all the highs and lows of top sport here, also in the Sears. But still, I think you can say congratulations to what this combination has shown here. Great parallel to Ening at the last fence, great sports. If it goes on like this with the number of four penalty results, it will be decided over time who belongs to the best 18 pairs in the end. At the moment, he is seventh. Let's wait and see anyway. There was anything but just decorative accessories what these two showed here. Even the father here in the checkered shirt said again, great performance, my boy, and our horse. And that's a Lordanos mare out of Lady Heide the First. She once became German champion mare. And actually, it's also nice when I see her eyes now, Hendrik. Now, how they went up there, maybe the camera can capture that. We have once Lordanos as a picture there on the wall. And on the top, we see our two children, Jana and Hendrik. The left picture is Jana up on the balcony. Maybe we can shine it a bit more. We see Lodanos as he stands out for himself. And Casino Berlin jumped in the Riders' Tour, also went to Aachen. And this is the product of it. And of course you love such horses. She comes straight out of the open barn, is three years old. And we see them both side by side. Casino Berlin out of Lady Lodana. She has already given birth to several folds and she still is not for sale. And there we want to hope that we can see her more often again after Hendrik has recovered completely. We'd like to ride some more big events, maybe in Hamburg again, maybe Leipzig, all these beautiful shows where we'd like to go. But this is a little bit our breeders proud when you see these products. Yes, definitely. If you've ridden the mother, ridden the father, and then you see such a great mare, you are happy that she'll be fully trained to the point that you can compete with her again. And this is also a worthy memory of Lodanos, who has given us so much and meant so much to us. And what I like personally, best of all, he been competing until the age of 17, enjoying his life so many years at our start, and then in the summer, on the beautiful green meadow, he fell asleep quite peacefully. And these are 
the beautiful memories, we don't want to withhold that. So that nothing will happen, please leave the arena carefully. This is a real powerhouse, this Lady Lordana. And then, if she'll get out right away, you can do another round. Also a lot of quality, a really modern and athletic type. Also still has a lot of the mother. Has really a lot of power, also the length of the body that has been handing down by Lady Lordana. This is Diamant de Plaisir II. He is the full brother to Diamant de Plaisir I, who we both bred ourselves. And I'm sure he'll be able to participate in every Grand Prix later on because of his infinite scope. He's super easy on course, clever, and I'm very happy to have him and looking forward to the future. Dear breeders and sport fans, we all remember the 2021 European Championships in Riesenbeck. It was a remarkable event that we've been part of at Ludger Beerbaum Stables. But there is one moment during that weekend that we remember above all. We're talking about the wonderful Diamant de Plaisir I, who finished fifth in the Grand Prix that weekend. We're so happy that we still have these genetics in our program. He's tall, shows a good gallop, good riding qualities. And Henrik, you tell us all the time that you've got the feeling that he's able to jump everything. Yeah, for sure. Immense scope, directly on demand. Is super easy at daily work. And then in the ring, he knows it's crunch time and is fully focused. He's so promising already at such a young age, and I'm very happy that we have him here. The first folds are on their way. His licensing took place a bit later, is approved for Hanover, and these genetics with his mother line, with the knowledge about his full brother, who's quite similar, but sometimes maybe quite strong. And comparing him, you might think this one is a bit too calm, but shooting with him this morning, he's more than alive. Very similar to his father, Diamant. And this combination with four pleasure out of our Lady Patterson. We just hope the breeders will be as excited as we are. And I think maybe he suits frenzied mass. He just turned five, already quite a powerhouse, and hopefully he will improve very well. Hopefully we can keep him a bit longer.
And that is what I like, this powerful takeoff, though he got a bit too close. It's the special family relations, especially the grandmother Lady Haida, who gave birth to Lady Lordana OLD. Thinking about the easy performance in the Grand Prix of Aachen. And that's why we want to have a special moment now. Here she is, the mother Lady Pleasure. Lady Pleasure. This is huge for us. Lady Pleasure, our good mare, actually pregnant, brought a lot of good horses. At the moment we're awaiting a fall of Casino Berlin. In addition, another offspring, an Organo mare. As I said, we're leading our young stallions to our established breeding mares. And this one is also a very good one, jumping very promising. Just coming out of the open barn. And that was a real stunner and this was what we wanted to show you. We believe in our breeding mass. And it was one of the proudest moments in Aachen, when we had four self-bred horses competing at one weekend. Lady Lordana, Casino Berlin, Casino Grande and Cadora. And this is all one family out of Lady Haida. These are stallion mares. At a time we trusted in for pleasure, because we're looking for some sort of new genetics. Maybe she'll be led to different international stallions to adopt a new bloodline. But this one by Organo, also very promising with a strong back, jumping very well. This is a half-sister to Diamant de Plaisir, the first and the second. Organo is the father. Super attitude. We'll be having a foal and then go into sports. And now she has gone back into the open barn. Thank you very much. He has been retired from sports, Casiro, a Holstein stallion by Cassini Landgraf Ramiro, hands down all the best characteristics and it really looks he's enjoying his retirement right here in Lemwerda. He's not been riding anymore, though he has been competing until the age of 17. He has had so many great successes over the years with all three of us, Janne, Hendrik, myself, Hamburg Derby, 
Puissance over 2 meter 10 and many, many more, 140, 145 classes, six bars with Jana over 190, a great progenitor and we're happy that we are able to offer this beautiful stallion still for the breeders. What I'd like to show eventually, this is the half-brother of Casino Berlin, Casirus, ridden by Holger Wulschner. He has been fourth most successful horse in 2020, was part of the Nations Cup's team for Germany three times, including the toughest event in the world in the Nations Cup in Calgary, in the Nations Cup of Dubai and Drammen, has had really successful series of shows. By the way, this is the origin of Blancanese, and we counted from this origin there are 15 horses that are competing over 1 meter 50, 160 level, really secure pedigree with a fantastic attitude. His name already leads to him, the great for pleasure. This one has an interesting story, right? Because you spotted him together, you and Egbert Shep. We sat in Sir Togan Bosch at the licensing and then the auction. And you said, we need to buy him together. He was such a light-footed horse, such a beautiful one. So we thought we should buy him. He got licensed, he developed very well. And then we kept him here. And this is the kind of brilliant connection we have. You raved about his mother Gestel. His grandmother is mother to Dennis Lynch's World Cup horse Chris Tello. Immensely successful bloodline. And the mother is here right now. Is about to enter the sport with our rider Janis. He's already won one with the 40 classes. So let's have a look at this real for pleasure son. He has made an impressive progression. Was very youngish at the time in Sertogenbosch when we bought him. And this is what we are aiming for. Spotting young horses that others didn't spot yet. And if they are still young and we want them to progress, but we know with this genetic paired with four pleasure, I think we made a good decision. Yeah, like pleasure is still juvenile, but it's very easy, already at the age of four, did everything he was supposed to do super easy, 
and Dad improved him in dressage with me he jumped. But now it's obvious that he has grown a bit more. I think another two years he'll be a proper stallion. And looking at the jumps, it gives you a nice feeling, super flexible. Still bouncing up though, he might get a bit deep at some point. Nice technique. And he improves each and every jump more and more. We like him and we hope the breeders like him too. To have another stallion enrich our program with all the good lines, World Cup successes and so on, looking all good. This is like pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, dear breeders, there's one stallion that shouldn't be missing tonight. Since his last year's appearance, he truly left an impression. Here he is once again. We're going to show him Let My Hand. And Gerd, it's amazing that you focus on the Belgium top lines in this case, because these performances at the World Cup in Verona are memorable with his rider Julia Jules. As well as in the Global Champions Tour, this six-star powerhouse. And I remember his arrival last year. He was so bursting with energy. And the interesting thing is tonight, the blood of Toulon on the mother's side, similar to your like pleasure. This is combined with Qui Dame de Revel, then the Derby champion Grandeur. Hermann, nice to have you back this year, but this year without Julia. But this stallion went through the roof. He has been highly requested last year. And later on we're going to have a look for an offspring, because the first crop of foals are just about to come. I'm very happy and I think this is a sign the breeders trust in Gerd Sosa and his family. This is just a stallion. He has proven himself in sport, of course. But Gerd and I feel certain that he'll prove himself in breeding too. Yes, indeed, he was highly required. He carries the good Belgian blood, endless scope, outstanding attitude. He's fighting for the rider. Yeah, we talked about that last year. Unluckily, he got injured, but luckily, we can bring him into breeding. We are really excited about the first folds. And you, as a matter of fact, brought an offspring tonight. The oldest are five years of age. And there are only a few. He was in sport at that time. I actually used him and a few friends in the first years. We had only four or five mares. And only of three or four foals, that is really good. And maybe we're going to have 60 or more foals this year. He could fit really well into a program leading to Landor and Lodano's mares with that kind of scope and attitude. That is what we wish for. And this all couldn't have happened without Robbie, our flower king, a commutual friend of ours. Yeah. 
Here is one of the first crop of finishing touch Varuslage. At the age of five. And this is a fearless combination, Hermann. Really exciting, because there is pharaoh in the blood. On the mother's side, what we see normally in dressage. But let's be excited. Let's see. Have fun. We're showing him as a representative of what Finishing Touch stands out for. His power, his will. Maybe on the first side not the highest rideability, but when it comes to this chestnut it's looking quite astonishing. This one is light-footed, moves really well. He's here for two weeks now and he's really made an impression in this time. Nice trot, easy to ride and careful. I must say what is also important for me is that the horses are healthy. They all are veterinarily checked, they all are good. And they need to be easy to handle back home. The girls who are working at my place all want to ride him because he is so easy, in good balance and just fun to work with. Yeah, health and strength is very important. Well, he just has the technique, the attitude, the will towards the sport. Well, if finishing touch really produces that kind of horses who have the capability of jumping Grand Prix or even look like that, Having high amount of rideability, there is a huge market for horses like these, and this is what we wished for. This is Tuchento, our new arrival from Belgium that we spotted via Jan Fleuchels. I tried this one with my dad in Belgium and we were amazed on the spot. The way he showed off. And we were able to buy him from Luke Tillemann and I'm really looking forward to competing with him in the future. There is this charismatic and self-confident grey stallion who has this remarkable outline. And we're also coming back to tonight's common thread. Toulon, who has been on the mother's side, very beneficial a few times now, this time on father's side. Winner of the Global Champions Tour in Sao Paulo combined with Cento Gottwald. The offspring is this fabulous grey. This is Tuchento. This is our new one. Hendrik and myself have been looking for some new interesting international bloodlines. And in my opinion, the Belgian breeders lead the way at the moment concerning their genetics. With Toulon and Otto Becker's Olympic gold medalist Cento, we thought this one would fit right in. So we drove to Belgium with uh, Jan Fleugels to Luc Tillemann 
to whom we want to send a personal welcome once again. He put Toulon on the market and he bred three Toulon offspring himself for his table. And we finally were lucky enough to buy him. He is licensed in Belgium as well as in Oldenburg. We think he holds a high amount of rideability. Luc Tillemann said that Toulon offspring are sometimes a bit late in developing. They need a sensitive rider. But if they grow up to 7-8 years, they can jump everything. This horse has a nice gallop, a nice walk, is a proper mover, has shown a superb free jumping test in Belgium. Yeah, horses like these, so talented, but just turned four and we need to be careful not to challenge them too much. This is his kind of style. Likewise, at his licensing, easy at the beginning, but then later he really took off. And we like him so much. Super. Bei der Gelegenheit möchte ich noch mal Jan und Evelyn auch mal grüßen. Die sind ja sehr gute Freunde von uns. So all the best Jan to Jan and Evelyn, good friends of ours. Nach guten Hengsten zu schauen. And Jan was supposed to look for interesting stallions, and I think he found one. Vielen Dank noch mal dafür, dass ihr die Vermittlung übernommen habt, und wir sind sehr glücklich damit. Und jetzt kommen wir einmal mal in die Mitte, und vielleicht können wir noch mal mit den beiden noch mal einmal sprechen mit unseren beiden Erfolgszüchtern. Ja, Egbert Schepp und Antonio schulze avadik folgen uns. So once again, Egbert Schepp and Antonio schulze avadik Das Ganze liest sich ja, als wäre Züchten ganz, ganz einfach. Man kombiniert einfach einen Global Champions Tour. It seems so easy. You combine a Global Champions Tour champion that has produced already a series of international top horses with two Largo, for example, one of the most interesting offspring. And then you take a World Cup winner and winner of Grand Prix like Calgary and Aachen, a team Olympic gold medalist, and the result is this beautiful stunner. So if breeding would be so easy, everybody would do it, right? But it isn't easy, and what do you think about this combination, Toulon, Cento? I like him very much. He's really using his body, has a good gallop. I see him the first time tonight, and I like him very much. What do you think about the Cento bloodline on the mother line? Well, there's a lot of scope in there. A lot of rideability. I haven't had one so far, but there are a lot, and this one is quite special. Egbert, you know the Belgium lines, and Gerd also knows it. What do you think about the Gottwald's bloodline in the descending mother line? Goddard blood has always been an asset. You can see it in the strength and the power. And what Jan and Luke told me, this Gottwald was not the best known, but he himself was really successful in eventing and show jumping. Super attitude, super strong horse, and combined with Cento and Toulon, I think this is a nice product, and I think we're going to show a video now. Also, Toulon was such a modern show jumping horse, absolutely top of class. And I remember being in Aachen with my wife Inga and Otto Becker winning the Grand Prix 
was in my head like it was yesterday. He's now our head coach for Germany. And we're so lucky that we have these bloodlines together now. This modern, beautiful horse, so easy, light-footed. I think you're gonna bring us some mess, don't you? <laughs> yeah, both are, of course. <laughs> but it's now I want to have your impression as a rider. We try to be honest. You can say if it's not good, but you have ridden so many interesting horses. What do you think about this one? I must say, for me, it's very impressing. Unbelievable technique, careful, very scopy, very easy to ride. Good gallop. You can't expect more of a horse like this in such a young age. And then such a jockey like you up there. That's a big pleasure. Thank you very much, Mate Schwedka. Dear breeders, we'd love to having invited each and everybody to Lamverda to present our stallions live, but that isn't possible at the moment, again in 2022. On the other hand, we're even happier about the fact that there is a special breeder among us that we needed to invite anyway. Antonio Scholze Avadik has had the honor to show his radiant winner in Munich a few days back. I'm very happy that Casino Grande proved my instinct. It was a bit of my personal goal in breeding. I commentated his talent in cold times with a contact me, that is Cartago, Motherline, then Landadel. His grandmother is also the mother of Stedinger. And he improved perfectly, showcased it during his test, was runner-up to Ogano with more than nine on average, produced outstanding folds. Yeah, that's amazing. A bit too far away, but easily bouncing ahead. A special thing was that he was the youngest horse at the German Championships and in the end he finished in 12th position. Finished 5th in the Youngster Tour final at the World Cup event in Leipzig. Yeah, Turner, you chose him for your mass. He's tall, energetic. And now let's talk about your brilliant success in Munich. I had a middle-sized mare by Havana Club, that is Heartbeat, and then Cornet, a line out of which there is a Lord PC Jr. in sport with Judy and Melcher at the moment. And I chose Casino Grande for her at the age of three. And this one became jumping winner last week in Munich. Our jumping winner this year is a horse that embodies a highly modern type, armed with all qualities you might think of, unreachable scope, the quickest reflexes, order and ease at the jumps. He simply has the whole package. Yeah, by nature, this horse is incredibly smart, incredibly clever, has incredible reflexes, is a superb mover, very tough, and very much inherent tension. Yes, and then the combination behind that, and very nice also in the end with your daughter, your successor. And we're also very proud that she continues it like that, just like our business is. 
Did you have a winning stallion in Munich? Yeah, but you had a winning stallion. Just not in Munich yet. He just uh, got the Ramses medal as breeder of Conado the first and second, but he has also had a great experience in Munich a few days back. And he wishes that his stallion will find a nice home. Did you arrive safely? So thank you again for everything. Same to your daughter. So now we're going to open the goodie bag. Let's see what we got here. Nice face, huh? Yeah, firecracker. Good one here. Such a great horse. Did you bring a nice horse? What do you think? Type is great, yeah? Good walk too, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we pre-produced our stallion show due to the corona pandemic. So here's the good news. After the licensing in Munich, we were lucky to buy the champion stallion of Turner Schulz Avedik, and today he arrived here. Lea Schulz Avedik brought him today. We're very happy that he is now part of our team, and they are good friends of ours. I'm happy that he has now arrived here, because we wanted him in good hands and I think he'll be having a good future here. Casino Grande is my favorite stallion and now that we have one of his sons here, I'm really looking forward to have fun with him. We are really interested in the first crop of foals of every stallion. And we have had Eckbert several times already at every year's open door event. He was judging several times already. Do you remember him? Yes, of course I can. I liked him very much. And I led one male of mine to him. And that offspring had the best score at the free jump of three years of age last year. Congratulations to that, I didn't know that. Yes, it was really an overwhelming crop. And I said, lead your mass to him. And we hope that they stay healthy because Hendrik says, alongside to Casino Berlin and to Ogano, he is the one to jump the Grand Prix in the future. Tja, lieber Gerd, der damalige Zuchtleiter Oldenburgs, Dr. Schulze Schlappinghoff, the former leading breeding manager in Oldenburg, he said, they have a trot you normally expect of a dressage horse nowadays. That the offspring of Casino Grande not only can jump but also can move is what we'd like to show you now. Casino Grande, out of a Kolensky mother. Eine Casino Grande Kolensky 
Und dann Lady Haida 1. And then Lady Haida the first in the descending pedigree. And we wanted to show you what kind of movement qualities he hands down. And I think she could also be at home in a dressage arena. She has such good movements. Showcases a superb free jumping directly from the open barn. From the spot on, how she is trotting there. There are moments in a rider's and most likely in a horse's life you will never forget. That kind of moment was locked in the mind of these two as they won the bronze medal at the German Championships in Balve in 2019. So far, Hendrik Sosat and Casino Berlin have had only one penalty for time in all three difficult rounds so far. For Sosat would be a amazing success. It would have been an amazing success for him, a rider who has been placed in the Hamburg Derby. This breeder's family. So. If he finishes that last Oxer clear, he will have the bronze medal at least. Three penalty points after four rounds at the German Championships. This grey stallion jumped remarkably well, flying on the crowd's chair. And this combination is an absolute stunner, fascinating how they performed on Friday and today. And there are only two riders, Jan Wernke and Felix Hasmann. They are only supposed to go clear, otherwise they are behind Hendrik Zosat and Casino Berlin. Here they are, my two friends. Hendrik and Casino Berlin. He is one of our oldest stallions at the moment, that we use regularly over the last years because we are convinced that he has produced brilliant show jumpers. I've resigned riding shows, but I'm training some jumpers in dressage, and this is my favorite. He's so intelligent. He has such a high amount of rideability for dressage, sometimes a bit strong on course like his father, but eventually he is performing so brilliantly on course. Well, these were moving moments at the German Championships, and that's why we show it, because there were nearly no shows, and Hendrik was injured, he was in Aachen, he was at the World Cup in Leipzig and Hamburg. 
Kannst ruhig mal ein bisschen die dressurmäßige Arbeit auch zeigen, dass der alles so kann. Und dann seine Nachkommen mit gerade mit Casino Grande. And of course, Casino Grande is one of his most famous offspring. <laughs> er kommt wieder in Form, Henrik. So, das war eine super Runde, oder? Danke, danke. Ich bin sehr glücklich, dass ihr beide wieder so fit seid und so eine schöne Runde gekriegt habt. Well, yes, talking about moving moments. After oh, such a long break, it is so good to see them back on track, Hendrik and Casino Berlin. And these moments in Hamburg, Balve and Aachen are unique. And maybe the breeders can participate in that. Und der Halbbruder dazu ist halt Casiros. His half-brother Kaziris competed in Calgary and Doha, finished multiple Nations Cups and is now sold to a young rider from Denmark. And you see the whole family is highly successful, is the stem of Blankenese. Hendrik, how was the first time doing this after such a long time? It was quite fun, of course. But I think it's time to say a huge thank you at this point. Sometimes I took a break and everyone who has horses knows that you need to improve them, the young horses and the good horses. And it took less than two seconds and everything was safe. Luckily, my dad is only 36 years of age or so. He did just a great job as well as the whole team. The horses are fit to compete and I'm definitely positive. And now it's time for me to say thank you. Thanks to my wife for 40 years of support. Thanks to the team, thanks to Mattis. Very good job. Beside you, your boss in former times, Thomas Heineking, who supported us over the last years. Such a strong rider but even stronger as a trainer and he supported us and supported the riders. Dennis, thank you so much that you're always supporting us at any time. This is the end of the show jumping part. Thanks everybody who's here and thank you back home for listening. Inga, beautiful old photographs here in the hallway of the Sozart house. This one is well over 40 years old. But you've been in the family for 40 years, married to Gerd for 40 years. How has the Sozart star changed visually over the 40 years? And what interests us even more, how has Gerd changed in the 40 years? Yeah, I think a lot has really happened at the start. When I first came here, the building actually looked similar to the picture here. Maybe Gerd had built a shelf himself. But after we were married and Gerd always went away from 10 o'clock to midnight to ride in the indoor riding arena, we said at some point, that doesn't work like that. We have to have something of our own. And then we built an indoor arena, changing the stables. The bull stables became horse stables at some point. Then we built the stallion stable. And after that, we built another big indoor riding arena. So I think 
As long as I've been on the farm the whole 40 years, the concrete truck has come almost every year. You dodged the question a little bit about how GAT has changed. Well, I think you don't want a relationship analysis. That's difficult. He has always been a doer. He's always wanting something. He still wants something. He's always full of ideas and new things he wants to do. The phone has always been there too. So Gerd is unchanged over 40 years? Yes, at least inwardly and mentally. He is also a family man and he is happy about his five grandchildren. Even though he may not be able to devote quite as much time to them, he enjoys family time intensively. Hier erscheint er im Ebenbild seines Dressurgenialen Vaters. Like a reflection of his father, we see him standing there. His father Escola is a tough act to follow thinking about the licensings in Westphalia and Oldenburg. And he just did it once again as an Escola son was licensed at the DSP licensing in Munich. This is Encanto. It is his first appearance of this future stallion star out of Lamberda. Yeah, I like the Escola blood very much. He is handing down strength and wealth in a strong back. That's the kind of horse you like. And this is why we want him. A very warm welcome to Markus and Sina Haferkamp. Take a seat and relax. These are the breeders of Encanto. And of course you are well aware of this origin of this state's mare, Vanya. Let's talk about his father Escola, who we know very well with Reitmeister Huberto Schmidt. And as I said before, he looks really like him, but he seems to be even more noble. Yes, you're right. We haven't seen him for quite a while and we are really amazed. Tell us something about the mother, bred by Sandro Hitt, for sure the reason for the noblesse, combined with a solid lot of Weltmeier and Rubinstein. This is a classical line. Well, we got the mother in 2015 as a filly, with a nice career ridden by myself up to high levels. At the age of eight, we sold her, but luckily we got her back for breeding. Encanto is the second foal. Her first foal is competing at three-star level at the moment, has been vice Westphalian champion. We still have her, and we are very lucky still breeding with her. Her grandmother, by Weltmeier, produced many successful horses, including Grand Prix horses and a Bundeschampion. And it became clear that we needed a sports stallion on father's side, and that was the reason why we chose Escola. For sure, it was really exciting that Gerd Sosat wanted to nurture and promote him and we're very happy that it all worked out. We shot some pictures this afternoon. It was interesting because he looked so clever and talented. I think you can see the riding quality already here, reminding me very much of Escola. Wahrscheinlich pfiffigen und gesunden Eindruck auf mich. Also wir sind froh, dass wir ihn haben. 
We are also very happy that we have him here, especially giving him the side reins, offering a slight connection. It's like he's training himself, right? He has not been riding, just a little guidance, but the rest was pure nature. Das waren gewaltige Bilder. Ich kann Ihnen nur ganz herzlich gratulieren und wir sind mit ihm gespannt auf die weitere Karriere dieses Hengstes hier in Lemberda. Encanto! Ein ungemein schmucker Dunkelfuchs wird gleich. We are expecting a charismatic dark chestnut next. His rider is a young lady that has proven herself to be the upcoming Pony Dressage star. At the moment, she takes over the fourth place at the FEI World Ranking List. There she is. I watched these two, for example, last summer at the International Schafhof Festival they were just amazing with a fabulous performance as he does today he always shows that this name fits right in for him these are maximum movements that our international pony breeders can find here if there is a secret recipe for success, maybe he has it. Take a champion stallion and the best mare of the year. Let the father become Bundes champion and get a new champion stallion and Bundes champion. This seems to be the secret recipe of the DSP Cosmo Royal. In 2017 and 18, he became double Bundes champion with Danica Dun. And one year later, with the family's daughter Sophie, so once again an amazing triumph. He got the highest scores at his short test in Ansbach with a total score of 9.35. Especially the gallop and his rideability were set at a 10. In 2020, this stallion became vice champion with Sophie Dune at the six year old and he has already won his first show competitions. But now both are internationally successful up to the FEI classes. These have become a constant member of the international dressage sport. Yeah, we should relax. Danica and Gerd are talking not only about the stallion himself, but also about the improvement of her daughter Sophie she has made over the last years. Just an excellent improvement. Congratulations. And how he came into the arena, how he was bouncing there, improved comparing to last year. Yeah, the whole package has improved over the last year. They started last year at the beginning of their FEI career. And now they have been placed very highly on the international court. Next month we're going to Le Mans, next international event. And the stallion, hands down, not only show jumping but also dressage. But though breeding a lot, he's always with a rider. And is very rideable, very easy on the court. And that all speaks for him. Well, I don't see him very often, but I remember last year's show here. 
I liked him last year a lot already, but he improved so well over the years. With three excellent gates, a good walk, athletic trot, as you wish for. Such a nice performance and I'm very happy that we can offer such superb stallions. I'm very glad. Thank you very much. Dear breeders, you might recognize this one as part of last year's presentation. With a very promising performance, he's now one year older to show off his talent again. This is Federer. We remember his appearance at the Hanoverian licensing very well, where Getzel had spotted him, this four-year-old son of Blue Horse Pharrell, out of the premium states mare Lilifee by Livaldon Canstaco. He's now more grown up, nicely constructed, this noble, modern, with the agility and the forehand we are looking for. A top stallion based here in Lemberda. His father's side is very worthy, Blue Horse Ferrell, was premium stallion himself at the Hanoverian licensing. After having had a 35 days test, he is now successful up to intermediate year one. On mother's side, we see Lival Don, that is the demanded combination between Vivaldi and Donahal, and the descending mother line is above average. Talking about the home of show jumping, it is Canstaco, a really precious mother line via Canturo and Staccato. We spotted him in Ferden at the licensing. I like him especially because of his beauty and looks. As we showed him last year, we presented him alongside his mother, and that is a real pleasure. Walking relaxed, moving like a sensation. And family Plate has also bred his father Pharrell, so we've come full circle. The show jumping blood in the background is always valuable for strength and health. That's how the Dutch do it, and this one has three very nice paces. 
mit diesem äußerst charmanten Gesicht. Ja, Veronika ist schon eine Reiterin, die sich sehr gut einfühlen kann in die Pferde. And these two connected perfectly. Veronica shows him perfectly. Just at a young age, but we can imagine how he's improving in the next time. Yeah, this youngster already shows a nice uphill gallop. Just a beautiful one, crowned with a charming face. Yeah, we're glaring about him. We didn't work with him so much. He's just at a young age, but I think in the early year we're gonna improve him outside and try even more with him to get him more secure. It is very important for us that the horses are relaxing after a moment of tension, after every pace, and that they get the rhythm back. He is not only a star in tennis business, this Federer. He is on his way to the top on the dressage court. Thank you, Veronika Steinhoff, for the presentation. Dear breeders, we'd like to welcome you all to the grand final. We are really happy to announce a beautiful combination of top class in the big dressage arenas. Ninja Zosat, Hendrik's wife, is presenting four dance. Our son of four Romans out of the highly decorated state's premier mare Reverie by Rubilo Ehrentusch. This stallion stands for the maximum extent of rideability, intelligence and attitude in persona. He was awarded premium stallion. Highly decorated himself, has shown his talents at the Bundeschampionat and is already established in the highest classes. He was super successful in 2021 as their trainer, Walter Kind, is surely talking about, remembering the great performance in Münster. At the Oldenburg Championships in Rastede, they took the victories away at all occasions. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for his performance right now. Four dance, and we're looking forward to the commentary and a little excerpt of the daily work with their coach Walter Kind. Und dann beginnen wir die erste Traversale von K zu X. Let's start with a half pass through the diagonal. Let's keep up the speed and trots. Watching him with fresh movement, nicely crossing forwards. We go on to the left hand side. Keep him together a bit more in the middle, then continuing on the right hand side. We see him moving so nicely in rhythm. 
really smooth in the connection. Und an der kurzen Seite machen wir den Übergang zum Schritt. And the transition to walk. Und lassen ihn auf der Diagonalen im starken Schritt schreiten. Vor Dance und seine Nachkommen beweisen, wie stark, wie nervenstark. For Dance and his offspring always prove how strong and concentrated they always are. He can show a huge stride in walk after every pace. Let's talk about his offspring for a second. He got awarded main licensing reserve premium champion, six licensed sons only out of his first crop. Then in 2020 and 2021 even more licensed son, for example the Oldenburg reserve champion who became priciest horse in the auction. His daughter, First State OLD, became Oldenburg champion. Perfect performances at the Bundeschampionat. And finally, Fit for Dance became regional champion in his age class. So this is a class of his own, especially talking about his inheritance. Keep him forward, keep him straight. Nice change. Next long line, more tempo. We want to show you how he's bouncing uphill in canter really strongly. Nächste Diagonale 3 zu 3. Straight ahead, weight change. Straight, weight, change. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Sehr schön. An der kurzen Seite erhöhen wir das Tempo etwas. Dann A bit more forward, then next time five changes in three strides. Den Nick nach oben und nach vorne. Keep him up, keep him forward. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Wunderbar. Wir gehen auf die Diagonale und machen nach X eine halbe Pirouette. Half Pirouette on the right Drei side, crossing the middle line. Mittellinie zu. Wir sammeln dann kurz Collecting him shortly Pirouette. before the Pirouette. Wunderbar. Aber really working nicely with his back. Und heraus. Und wir lassen ihn wieder frisch weg. Fresh Kenter. Change. Once again, diagonal towards half pirouette. Very good. Keep the speed forward. Keep 
vorwärts wieder. Dann Länge der Bahn. Long line. Nach X können wir ihn dann halten. Pose behind X. Und wir sagen Thank you. Tja, mit diesen fantastischen Bildern und Eindrücken, meine Damen und Herren, möchten wir uns... The whole family is joining us again, including the whole team that has done a great job. But they are all looking forward, dear breeders, that you all will be our guests here in Lemberda as soon as possible again. Seeing them online is nice, but watching them live and in person is much more exciting. Gerd, congratulations to you and your family and your stallions. What a team you've got. What brilliant riders you can be proud of. This has been a beautiful evening, a huge compliment. Herr Hennig, auch für dich Dankeschön. Wir haben zwar tolle Tage gehabt und ich hoffe, wir haben ein interessantes Programm zusammengestellt, dass der Abend, wenn die Gäste, die uns zuschauen, in ihrem gemütlichen Fernsehzimmer sitzen und sich die Show angucken, dass sie am Ende sagen, das hat uns gut gefallen, das, hat, das haben die gut gemacht, das ist unser Ziel. Wir haben uns alle die größte Mühe gegeben und ich möchte mich bei der Gelegenheit auch nochmal bei dem ganzen Team bedanken, die hier einen wirklich tollen Job gemacht haben, bei den Reitern, auch bei meiner Familie, dass das alles so gut klappt und auch mal danke nochmal an die Züchter, die uns wirklich in den letzten Jahren so stark auch besucht haben und wir würden uns freuen, wenn wir ihren Geschmack mit unseren Hengsten getroffen haben und äh, nochmal danke für den Abend. Das hat uns auch gut gefallen und Janne, wir wollen ja eigentlich immer viele Veranstaltungen machen. Was haben wir eigentlich noch vor? Was meinst du? Also jetzt haben wir erstmal fünf Turniere geplant für dieses Jahr und dann schauen wir nochmal weiter. Ja, wir wollten ja auch Tag der offenen Tür, aber wir befürchten, dass das wohl noch nicht gehen wird. Das wird wohl schwierig werden. Aber wir wollen gerne noch mal wieder Veranstaltungen haben, wo wir viele Gäste hier auf unserem Hof auch mal begrüßen können. Ja, und wo, wo haben wir die deutsche Meisterschaft, Schärfe? Wollen wir die nicht mal umhängen? Luisa, hat die Mama das gut gemacht? Ja. Warst du begeistert bei der deutschen Meisterschaft? Ja. <lacht> ja? <lacht> wir auch. So, das ist also ganz schön. Henrik? Vor drei Jahren bei der Deutschen Meisterschaft in Balve, Dritter. Janne, vor zwei Jahren Deutsche Meisterschaft in Münster, Amateurmeisterschaft, Deutsche Meisterin. Und Nina, in diesem Jahr Deutsche Amateurmeisterschaft in Münster, auch Deutsche Meisterin in der Dressur. Selbst ausgebildet, ganz hervorragend. Wir sind stolz und wir bedanken uns noch einmal recht herzlich. Jetzt wollen wir die noch mal abwandern lassen mit ein bisschen Musik, oder? Dear guests, I'm so glad that we have finally time to chat. With all the events, especially before the pandemic, we perhaps didn't have enough time for that. Today we have invited a gentleman whom you all know, who lives in the beautiful men's lager and maintains a horse paradise there in every respect. Above all, also in the dimension and size, who has made a name for himself of European importance, far over 600 stallions already licensed, 670 in his career so far, an unbelievable number of champion stallions, just successfully returned from the stallion days of Munich. We are of course talking about Heinrich Ramsbock, who has a very special connection to the family here in Lemwerda. Not only the personal acquaintance, but actually a way of living with the horses, which is quite similar to that of the Sozart family. It is a family business that you run in Menslager, Heinrich. What are the big similarities between these two families? 
Yeah, if you think about it, we both started small. We used to ride together in Fechter, and it all grew very slowly. Well, each wife has stood behind it, Gerd's wife just like mine. Over the years, the interests have been the same. I've tried to raise stallions, Gerd has needed them, has been successful in selling the semen. Yes, and so a friendship has grown over the years. Year after year, we are allowed to welcome you here at the events of Sozatstadt. I myself got to know you at the big fall shows at the open day, where you are a regular guest. And I remember very well a situation. I looked for you on the whole area. I found you back there in the wildlife enclosure, where a zoo had been set up, so to speak. Animals, is that the big fascination for you? That's the biggest thing for me personally. On the way here, I talked with Hermann that we have all kinds of ducks. We bought them for a lot of money, but then I realized that we couldn't keep the variety. But there are ducks, geese, chickens in every form, all varieties everywhere, and it brings unbelievable joy. It's relaxing to watch the animals at all. Looking at the horses all day, that's one thing, but to walk around in the evening and look at everything, that's real joy. Yet, can you relax particularly well with ducks? Is that what connects you? Is it some same family ties? Are you guys real friends? Yes, I guess we are. We actually used to ride together in the past. And what's really amazing is that we both come from the show jumping background. And in what a short time Heinrich has developed there with the company, the stallions, the dressage horses. We only started with the dressage horses later, but we are both an agricultural business. And I'm very interested in grassland and everything around it. And when I'm at your farm and see the pastures with all the horses, how well kept it all is, the whole grassland, the way it is built on the farm, the big well in front. And it's well kept with you, I really have to say. And what fascinates me enormously when we were with you in Hahnenmoor, I was there once in May. I think, and I saw 40 mares with foals in the big hall, which is as big as an indoor riding arena that thrilled me so much. The foals had their corner on the side, they could pass under the pipe, and so they could feed themselves. Heinrich likes to show off and told me that he can get any foal and can lift the legs anywhere, and I went there and saw he was right. He has such a great connection with the animals. You could get to any foal like that, you could pet them, and he's really a horseman. I remember Heinrich visiting you. I came unannounced and I was usually on my way. I was proudly shown around the facility by your staff. That was really remarkable. Unbelievably neat, as if you had expected a video team. Every horse was standing up to their belly in straw. Is that your company's signature? Yeah, I think if you don't run it right from the heart, that you really pay attention to the little details every day, otherwise such a business doesn't work. If you let it slip, the horse care, for example, the bedding, that is done every morning with all the people who are employed on the farm. And it's done to the finest. And then the animals feel good and the people can also work better. What is the future of the family farm, also in the context of agriculture becoming more difficult? I think the family farm, which we both promote and operate, Gerd in a large form, with us it's a little smaller, I'm talking now about the next generation. Well, yes, 
And I'm of the opinion that as long as we personally can run it all, it all work out because we have a completely different view of the animals, how horses are raised, how they are broken in. And through this, I believe over the 50 years that we have been running this with regular customers, and this is my kind of philosophy, that without your regular customers, you can't run such business at all. And trust is the name of the game. Yes, certainly a basic principle of both of your ventures. I myself have only once had the pleasure of buying a horse on your farm. Gerd has certainly had that experience several times. And he has a stallion in the stable right now, a very outstanding Vivaldi offspring. It's called Vivaldos which we will, of course, also see in the context of this online stallion show. Tell us a little bit, Gerd, what was it like when you discovered him at the Ramsbrock stud? I've bought one from Heinrich several times, and Heinrich always has impressive prizes, but of course he has also good horses. And so I thought, you are in the area and you go to Heinrich and have a look. Ramsbrocks are always very hospitable, also Dagmar, your wife, when I come there. And I was there around noon, and there's always a little something to eat, you're always very welcome there. And we talked about stallions, and Heinrich said, if you want to have something very special from a superb dam line, the mother herself is an absolute sensation, he was so enthusiastic about Doris Day, then you have to take one of those. But then I first thought, Heinrich, wait and see, and then we thought, well, let's have a look at him. Then we drove to the Hahn Moor, and we were very lucky that we were there during the lunch break. Otherwise, I've been there before, so everything is perfectly prepared. Five of his grooms are standing in front of the stallion stables. They were planting, they were shining, bandaged, otherwise you don't see them at all. And that was during the lunch break, and there was only one of your farm workers whom you'd asked to present the stallion for us. And he came out like this, just with the bridle, quite naturally, as he was, and he was moving back and forth on the road. And I just came from Amelo in Holland, because we had been to the World Championships with Davenport, and I had these movements in my head, like the good dressage horses move nowadays. And I saw him, and I fell in love right away. And I thought, you won't leave after you have the stallion. And we drove back to our house and I chatted a bit on the way. First you told me the story about the great mare Doris Day, your ride and your friend Hermann Burger. What have they all won feral championships? I think the horse has competed 11 times, from mare shows to competitions to the Bundeschampionats and always has won. She never even came in second. Won state championship, national championship, mare shows, won all kinds of things. And you should always recognize the spirit of the times, which blood is in demand at the moment. There it was, the Vivaldi blood was just coming up and then with the mother, with Desperados, the house of Spreer. We are good friends with them. She was Olympic champion in the team and the German champion with them. With such a great horse, such a combination, and then Brentano in the dam line, exactly what could fit very well for a station. Is that, Heinrich, also the secret recipe at your success? Gerd has already said that Vivaldi was the center of attention back then, and even more so today also through Vitalis, of course. But is it also the dams that have the basis of your success? I mean, 670 licensed stallions. You don't just do this with fashion stallions, but mainly, I think, with quality mass. Yeah, this is definitely correct. We have a large stock of mares, and it happens again and again that someone wants to buy a mare. And then I'm usually standing here with Hermann Burger in front of our notice board or blackboard, and we can't find one because we don't want to part with them. And that's very difficult for me because we have the mare lines already in the third and fourth generations. The dam lines are just vital. Immer gut wird nicht gehen. Aber die Stämme sind einfach entscheidend. 
I'm very curious about that now. I mean, Gerd will see this quite similarly, who of course also builds his breeding on performance mass. The lion's share of the stallions we see in the online stallion show are homebred by Zosatstadt. Is it really noticeable that the horses have become better over the years? Zosatstadt has been around for 375 years, not quite as long as horses have been successfully bred here, but almost. Have the horses, especially based on the mares as well, gotten better over the last 30 years? As far as I can tell, clearly better, clearly different. In the past, there also were great horses, but for today's conditions that are needed in modern sport, especially in show jumping, we have very refined, high-quality horses. And I can also say with us, our older mares, also the Lady Haida line, there are so many good horses now. And if I have a bit of an overview of what could fit, then the products are actually getting better and better. And I've already had that with my employees. We've taken 25, now three years old mare out of the yard and let them run and jump. And then we always take videos right away so we can see what they're like and we always take notes for that. And at so many mares, we have so many plus points. Or do we make a mistake, we rate them too highly if we compare them with the other years and these are now the products that come from our very best mares, also from the mares that compete internationally themselves that we had in Aachen, such as Lady Lodana, Cadora and the Dam of uh, Diamante Plaisir. These are simply great performers. And in the field of dressage horses, we are not as strong with our own mares, but I think we have certain lines that are passed on excellently, and I think the breeding has developed tremendously forward. Yeah, you have to pay a lot of attention to what you are breeding. Character, the quality of movement, which is what we are talking about all today. Um, finally, rideability. And those who really pay attention to this will also be successful in breeding. But not only fashion stallions, that's all done quickly, but afterwards the riding and also the marketing, these are decisive factors. That's exactly what you're saying, character. We have one point in the evaluation, and that's the attitude, and that's the most important for me. If you get 25 out of here, or even more, for all of them, the conditions are the same. And some of the horses, they have ears to the front and do it, and some of them just don't. And this attitude is so important, not only for the people, but also for the horses. What I think is a problem with our modern breeding is that the hardness is not as it used to be. When I think of the past, we didn't even know a veterinarian. The horses had short fetlocks, a firm tight bag, and decent joints, and all these problems we have today, some of them very highly bred, especially dressage horses with the spectacular movements, with the very long fetlocks, this front like mechanics. They are all a bit unstable in the back, and they don't have so much strength in the tail and the body. And many of them are not as hard on the feet as they used to be. I think we have to pay more attention to that in breeding today. This is indeed the most important thing. The foundation, which is not longer considered today, so many foreign stallions are taken, simply looked at from the internet. The young people can sometimes not even pronounce the pedigrees. And all this is lost, the most important thing that we have good foundations, that the horses are healthy, that is the most important thing in breeding. We have more and more breeders who would like to have a consultation and we're very happy to do that. They also come to our home and they just have a look at the stallions on the pavement. There are also customers from Holland, from Belgium, who accept the somewhat longer way and they come here and look. How does he move? How does he stand on his feet? The hooves in particular are so important that they are in good condition and I think it's also good as a breeder that you think about it and not just go by the video, what you see on the internet, but also look at the product. I always buy by good feeling, even if I buy your stallion. I have to see the horse, he must inspire me. And then I find him good and then it will work out. Not just because I read something on the internet or just he won the Grand Prix on TV. Well, good feeling. Thank you very much.
That's of course a special treat for me. That's two very successful horse breeders, one from Rosendal, the other from Holland near Sertung Bosch. First of all, my friend Tene Avadik, and secondly, Ekbert Shep. Ekbert Shep is also one of the most successful Dutch breeders of all time. He's on the board of the KWPN and has bred so many successful horses and was recently very, very successful in Munich. Just like Tene Avadik, who also comes from an agricultural background and runs a highly successful breeding and training business, in addition to his agriculture. And you must be highly motivated because you both were so successful in Munich. How was it for you? Munich was a very successful year for me. I had a young Casino Grande, Havana Club, Corner de Belensky stallion with me. He already showed very well in the pre-selection. I always thought he was really good the whole summer, already in the pasture. Just a remarkable stallion and he did everything really well in Munich, so he deserved the victory. And the two of us also spoke on the phone, you are quite nervous then when it was your turn. You hope such a stallion shows what he can do, but he did. And you know yourself, when you come to us in the spring, you usually bring two mares here and we sit down on the couch and think what we're going to do. And as a stallion owner, I always try to give the best mares to the young stallions and then we both thought, well, let's try Casino Grande, right? I'm one who likes to take young stallions anyway, because I always think that breeding has to go forwards and can't always just rely on the famous TV stallions. A young stallion is always a head start. You always look forward to the fall. You can see that breeding has future and develops. And then, of course, we have another one who is quite successful, Egbert. And I have to say that you have Heracles as our shared stallion, which you took with you from Fechter. Do you remember that time when he was not taken in the pre-selection? That doesn't matter. Then he went to Holland and had quite a career with you. And that was really tremendous. And I have to say, as far as the offspring of Heracles is concerned, I often visit you in winter at your beautiful facility. And last year you already showed me an offspring, a chestnut stallion, which you have bred yourself, and it was sensational how the horse could move and his free jumping skills. And I think you have him now for the KWPN licensing, haven't you? Yeah, that was the one of the best horses from the pre-licensing with us. He's a really fantastic horse. He moves like a top dressage horse. He is beautiful, like a painting, and jumps extraordinary. And that was also the case with the one I saw in Munich. That was quite impressive. And what I also found super was the reaction. I think he had a small mistake once in the row at the beginning and how he implemented it and pulled it off. And you were not only there with that one, but also with the Nixon, which one you have in your own breeding, also a young stallion. And how do you do it at home? Do you have a lot of embryo transfer? Do you use older stallions? Do you use younger stallions? What is your philosophy? The philosophy is you have really good broad mares first. We always talk about stallions, but you have to get the right stallion for the right mare. That is very important. Yeah, I agree. So, I mean, we always talk about the stallions. I think 60% of the inheritance is certainly the mare. And you both have an incredibly good mare line. How did you manage it so well over the years? Mostly through sport horses that have gone out of the sport because they were too old or had an injury. And then that's how it is that the ones with the best offspring have done well. That may be a good thing to say. I once took four of my best four-year-old mares to Joris de Brabanda. And Joris has a young stallion, Mosito van der Hellerhof, who was not a very pretty stallion, but he jumped exceptionally. He has quality. He was not the most beautiful, but he has quality. And I said, Joris, 
You get four mares from me and make them pregnant. He did and I had four top mares. And Musito is now one of the most upcoming stallions. You have to be early with them. That's always like that. You always have to try to be ahead of the market. And that was the same with you, Turner, if I remember correctly. When Cornet came on the market, I think you were one of the first to use them. I started with the Akubat mare that I had, that was in the sport. And when Cornet was a young stallion, I went immediately twice in a row, or rather three times in a row, and had the luck to breed Cornado the first and second out of it. Then I once had a Ludwig's Ass son who came out of a Cornet mare. There was also the first fall out of this mare. So we also use a lot of young mares and sometimes we get one or two foals out of the young mares and then they go into sport again. And of course, if the foals are so outstanding, then you keep the mares. You have to keep the good mares, otherwise it goes backwards. Yeah, you need to breed with the best mares you have. We can also speed up our breeding progress by doing embryo transfers. Then, um, of course, everything goes a little faster, even with the older mares. What do you think is the future? What does the market need? I've noticed for myself that we have a lot of demand lately, no matter what category of horse it is. How do you see the future for us breeders? What we need to do to keep this profitable business? The important thing is that the horses can be ridden. I think that is a very important criterion because many people want to ride but are not aiming for the big sport in the end. They are happy if they can ride at medium level and have a good horse. And they are very rare at the moment. They are basically sold out, to be honest. How is it in Holland? It's the same with us. We always try to breed a top horse. That's normal. If you have Grand Prix horses as a goal, and you see how many compete at 1 meter 60 level per year, that's not even 1% of the whole breeding in Northern Europe. But the rest has to be marketed as well. And that is right what Turner says, riding quality is incredibly important at the moment. What we also emphasize, I have to say honestly, is that the stallions also look like a stallion. Yeah, a stallion must be a stallion. There has to be a difference between a stallion, gelling and a mare. That's a bit of what I see as a problem in the whole breeding at the moment. One wants to focus only on the short term to sell a foal expensively from a popular stallion and a good dam line. But whether this is the best method, I have my doubts. You always have to make a good combination. That is the power of breeding to get better and better. Not the very same old thing for 40, 50 years ago. I don't believe in that. What you just said with the 1 meter 60 level horses, that is also our ambition. I mean, of course, when we use our stallions, we have our best mares, we want to breed the Olympic horse, that is our goal. And Olympia comes every four years. Now it comes every five years. Three are still allowed to start in the show jumping competition. So we were difficult to be part of it, but the goal is to become the best. And I can only state for myself that as far as the whole breeding is concerned, that our horses have become much better over the last 20 years. And that's no longer comparable at all. Well, that's a general case, even in the lower classes. Yeah, and even there, the riding quality becomes much better. If you used to have to work the horses dressage-wise, nowadays the riders are having an advantage, they are all rideable. 
They're rideable, they have a good attitude, and I must say, if you have a mayor that has a bad character, where it all comes through like that, you just have to then weed out and sell that you really only breed with the best mares. I have a suggestion. I sold a mare, a very good mare. She produced five offspring, all 1 meter 40 successful or more. I sold the mare because she was bad to ride as a young horse. Maybe I shouldn't have sold her, but we also have to move forward with the horses. We also sell a lot of horses abroad to Scandinavia, and all the daughters who like to ride in competitions, they have wealthy parents who would like to be part of the sports. They need horses that can be handled, that have blood nowadays and are also cautious. But above all, they have to be rideable. Especially if the horses don't have the top quality, then they can still become a hunter or an equitation horse. And we only talked about jumping, both of you, of course, especially Turner, you were also successful with a premium stallion in dressage. You have also set up your studs to market dressage and show jumping horses. You have also had a lot of luck with the dressage horses and the dressage stallions and the stallion approvals. But even there we often take young stallions again and made them with a better mess. In principle, that works out quite well. How is it with you? The Dutch are very strong at the world ranking list. And sometimes we have the feeling that they are too difficult and cannot be ridden by amateurs. How have you adjusted to that? It has gotten better with the young horses. They are more rideable. But that's the way it has to be. They were too difficult. So both of you, like me, come from an agricultural background, but you are confident that we breed good horses, train them well, have happy customers, our grandchildren will still be able to make a good living from our business, won't they? Yes, I'm really sure my daughter is motivated and it's also great to see it continue. And it goes on with you? Yes, it does. Good horses remain in high demand all over the world. <coughs> but I'm still missing a little bit. I've seen your video when you are on your farm in Paraguay, when you sit on your horse and drive your herd of cattle. That would be another dream of both of us, Turner, wouldn't it? Well, the Dutch are just a bit ahead of it. That was a nice talk. Thank you very much.